Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love Attemptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. Hi, how are you? Today we're going to be talking about another Sky Factory 4 tutorial. And this one, we're going to look at different ways that we can do automated farms. As we know, farming is usually pretty important in Minecraft. I built a little platform here, isn't it beautiful? Um, so we're going to look at some of the different things we can do to get some art automated farms going. Now obviously with Sky Factory 4 you're going to have your bonsai trees going, you'll have those automated. You should already be past that point. So now we're going to automate our farms. So there's a couple different ways we can do it. Now this first one here, uh, and we're going to use this a lot, we're going to use a lot of cyclic. So this first one is the harvester and on top I have the item collector. And the item collector is because it will pick up stuff in whatever area you select. However, the harvester automatically puts stuff it collects in here. But the reason why the item collector is if you're doing a different kind of crop. Now with the harvester, it just right clicks harvest. So here we have just wheat and it's growing pretty fast because I have the crystal growth underneath it. And then of course with this a premium watering can, voila. So this is just going to keep going. You can autom you can set up different types of sprinklers and such to make it water a little bit faster. But here I just did a three by three just for demonstration purposes for a lot of these. But in the harvester here, you can actually set it to different sizes all the way up to 15 by 15. And if you need to know what size, there you go. It'll show you exactly where it goes. So if you want to put it based on that, then you could do that. So it, it works pretty well. I like it. Um, this does have a crystal growth crap. Uh, what are these called? Harvest level stone. Um, these are the growth accelerators. Um, but I just did that for demonstration purposes. You don't need it to have your farm automated. And then um, this is just if you have other stuff. Right now it's just on a 5 by 5 and again you can see where it would collect it. It goes up 5 and down 5. So it would give us plenty of room. Alright now and you can then pipe this out of course to something else. All right, so let's take another look. These are magical crops, uh, not magical crops, uh, mystical agriculture. Sorry, it used to be called magical crops. <laughs> uh, these are mystical agriculture seeds. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, if you're thinking of doing the crystal growth accelerators, these are not the mystical agriculture ones. And I will go into that in a different video fully on the mystical agriculture, but this one is just about farming, so. But these, as you can see, don't really affect the growth of these that much. They do a little bit, but I don't know. It's up to you whether they're worth it. And again, we have a harvester here. Now when you set the harvester down, you'll, you'll stand here and set it down. Um, and then I just have an item extraction cable on the back. And of course we could just place a chest on top and it would take everything in here and put it in this chest. Then, and this will work for chest, it'll work for um, the wooden storage crates, it'll work for filing cabinets, uh, whatever you need. So of course it's just gonna take everything out and put it in there. Now to automate it, just hook this up to your system and voila. You can even have an exporter on this and have this exporting to where it's separated into separate bins if that's the way you're doing it. Because there's so many different ways to do storage setups here. So there, you can do all different kinds of things. But it does take power. We just have the GPS connect and I have another video if you're not familiar with the transfer nodes. Uh, you just power it. That's all it takes. And you can also set it to single use, which will uh, harvest the whole thing at once. Or you can have it on area. Oh no, area, it'll harvest the whole 
plot at once, but it takes more power. Or you can have it on single, and it'll go through and see if anything needs to be harvested. So that's why this one, wow, that was a bad example. Uh, it doesn't always get it the minute it is grown. So like that one will stay there for a minute because it's searching all, all around and it goes around to see what needs to be harvested. So that is an, uh, another way. I wanted to show you how to do that. Okay, next method. Next method, and these are okay, but they have flaws to them. So industrial foregoing. Industrial foregoing is a really good mod, but here we have the plant interactor and the plant gatherer. Now I'm going to show you, see it just took that seed. The problem is it, it's not putting anything back down. So let's go ahead and plant something. Uh, we got some more seeds here. And I'll show you why I don't necessarily like this method. So we have the automated user here and I have, this is another thing that you can do with it. I have it on, okay, it'll automatically be on one, but if you take it out and go back down, you'll see it, it infinitely clicks. So I have the watering can on it. And if we shift right click, which it's not doing. Hmm, it, it's not accessing right now. But if we have this in here, it will constantly water these. So the problem with the plant gatherer and the plant interactor is it's going to pick up these. So let's water them so you can see. It's going to pick them up, but it's not going to plant them back. See, it just picks them up. So if it happens to stay there, that's great. But if not, it's just harvesting them. So, uh, of course, now when I was doing it, it was constantly doing it, but... And you also have nothing to pick it up this way. So then we would want to take one of our uh, item collectors and set it on top here. Because then it's going to automatically pick up the stuff. This one, it's over to the side, so it's going to have problems with it, but it will start picking up everything now. So now, so if you're going to do this method, see, there it goes, right there. It took a while, but it got rid of that seed there, so now there's nothing planted. So that's the major problem with doing it this way. And when you put these machines down, you have to face this way. So you want to face where the farm is. So you have to go behind where you want it and place it down. Whereas, like these machines, you stand where you want it and place it down. So if you ever wonder, of course you can turn it with a wrench too. But And these also have to be powered. Whoops. Mm, it must have picked up my seed. But see, it's collecting everything. And again, it's the item collector, so you can change what range you want it to pick up. And the item collector, the nice thing is, they don't require any power. So you set it down, set what area you want it to collect, and it'll automatically do its thing. But yeah, that's the problem with this is, you know, and I tried both the interactor and the gatherer. They just, they end up pulling all these up. Because I had this running for a while and you saw what was left when we came back. So that's the problem with this. Now here I have a five by five. I did do one, two, three. Four. Yeah, a five by five area setup. You can do it larger, but I did a five by five. And here we have the plant sour. So this, whatever's here, will plant. So with this method, you could do it as long as you had a plant sour in the middle somewhere. So you would probably want to make it bigger, like I said, five by five. But then if you had these, the gatherer or their interactor, it would be fine. But honestly, there's better ways to set it up. So here is what I suggest. So you have your plant sour here, right? You have your automated user here. Now this automator, automated user has no, no 
watering can in it. This one is strictly going to be used to pick up the plants. So right now it's on a one by one, but if we change it, it's going to harvest all these plants. And of course we can turn on the preview and it'll show us. I mean, look at it. That goes pretty far out. This is one of my favorite things to use. And again, it goes up to a 15 by 15. Look how wide that goes. We can't even see. There we go. That's a huge, huge area. Okay. So then if you have something watering, it doesn't seem to like the peppers as much, but... Oh, there it goes. But as you can see, with it on that high, oh, it goes up to, oh, 19 by 19, that's right. So I'll leave it on a three by three net for right now. But then I just have the item extraction cable on the back, pulling it out into the chest, which it is not doing. No, uh, my item collector's picking it up, that's why. I was like, what? But my item collector that's clear over here because I have it on 11 by 11 is picking up all the crops that are uh, planted here. Now here is another thing you can do. It's an auto clicker. This one does require power. And this will harvest all these. Why is it not working all of a sudden? Has full power. Pepper should not be there. There we go. Somehow it got a pepper stuck in there. And it... But it will harvest right in front of it. Now, right now it only looks like it's doing one, but it, it did go all the way out four, I believe. But it only does in one row. So it's not really that functional. functional. And the automated users are so cheap to make anyway. So... I talked about these before, so I didn't do the recipes, but the automated user, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Automated user is the magma block, two gold, a dispenser, and obsidian. So, and then the harvester, like I have over there, is just a dispenser, two emerald, a diamond, nether quartz, and obsidian. So they're really, really easy to make, especially if you have all your bonsai trees going. And it only requires a little bit of power. So, I mean, look at it. This this far, it'll just keep growing all day. And of course, we turn that down, but if we put it, let's see, let's turn it on. Does that cover the whole farm? That's missing this row over here, so let's do it one more. Now, remember, the higher you have it, it's going to search everywhere to see if there's a crop to pick up. But look how fast it does. Now I do have some of the crystal growth accelerators under here. But one thing you'll notice, I don't even need this plant sour right now. I could pause it and it would be perfectly fine because it's not actually picking them up. Because it is a right clicker, which is what an automated user does, it right clicks. So because it's right click clicking the crops, it's just automatically leaving them planted. So this is what I would recommend is using the automated user and just plant your stuff. It's so easy. And then just use an item collector. As you can see, it can be further away. You can just change the setting on it. We'll set, set it to highest, so 19 by 19. Okay, so then for this, uh, I have it going into the large chest here, but then you can connect your large chest to your simple storage system and everything is in your system. Or you can export from the chest into barrels or whatever you want to sort the, these out, barrels, filing cabinets, whatever it is you want, and have that connected. 
There's tons and tons of possibilities. This is just a small sampling, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to set up an automated farm. And the reason why I diff did the different things, because I want to show you so you don't have to go through it, the kind of things that just don't work in Sky Factory 4. And what my opinion is on what the best way is. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, I appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Plus, lets me know that you guys are actually enjoying these. And if you have any ideas on what you would like to see next, any kind of tutorials, let me know. Until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye!